what's up everybody it's me miss ebony v welcome back or to my channel if you're new here thanks so much for clicking on that thumbnail and joining me today i do hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me if you're returning hey sugar muffin all right y'all so this is my first official hair review video of 2021 my first actual video was my reflections and goals and giveaway video so if you missed that please be sure to check that out i'll go ahead and link it down in the description box below as well as up here all right so today is another human hair slay on a monday and i'm going to be reviewing this beauty i am wearing now a hair company called iuelan which is a vendor on amazon Please forgive me if I butcher the name. I just recently reviewed a um, curly synthetic headband wig from them. And so they were also kind enough to send me this unit as well to review for you. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I truly appreciate it. All right, so the unit I'm gonna be reviewing today is a Brazilian straight human hair lace front wig. It actually came in the color 613 blonde color with 150% density at 20 inches long. Now, this is a 13 by 1 T type lace. My very first time <laughs> reviewing a unit like this, with this T type lace. Stay tuned for my thoughts on this very different unit for me. <laughs> As you can see, I have changed the color of this unit. So, let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing, the coloring, the styling, and installing of this unit all right so here's how the unit came packaged and they included a wig cap and a headband now this is the blonde 613 hair straight out of the package and as you can see this is what that 13 by 1 t type lace looks like it does have a standard cap construction with the two combs on the sides one in the middle one in the back with the adjustable straps so now we're going to move into the coloring process and i'm just going to go along the lace area that is exposed this t part lace and just add some Gorilla Snot Gel just to protect the lace and prevent the color from bleeding actually on the lace. After I finish applying this gel, I just set it aside and let it dry for a little bit. Now I'm going to add this Adore hair color in the color Spiced Amber to my dyeing bowl I guess you can call it and I'm gonna add some boiling hot water to that I only used about half of that bottle um, just in case I need some more color I don't usually like to use the entire bottle just in case I need some more and I'm just blending it with my little mini whisk here and I always use a paper towel to test the color and see how the color comes out it's giving me that honey golden color so now I'm gonna put the top portion of the wig or the crown area of the wig into the bowl first because that is where I want the majority of this color to be. It's also very important to remember to brush through the hair every so often just to make sure the color is being evenly distributed throughout the hair. As you can see by looking at the water, the hair has absorbed most of that color now. So I'm just going to add the remainder of the hair color to the water and mix that and then put the hair back in. Of course, I'm putting the crown of the hair back into the water first because that is the most important part that I want to obtain this hair color. All right, so now I'm quite pleased with this golden amber color that I, that I have on the hair. So I'm just going to remove the excess water and sit it to the side and then move on to the next color. So this color I'm going to be using is called Rich Amber, still using the Adore hair dye. Um, I again, added only about a half of the bottle and I'm mixing it with my whisk. Here is my color test with a paper towel. So for this hair, I wanted to go with the reverse ombre look where the lighter color is on the roots and the darker color is on the ends. I also wanted to have a gradient transition of the colors. So once I got the darker color on the hair, um, I started to focus just on the very ends of the hair so that the ends would be a little darker than the middle. So this is the result of what the hair looks like and I think it looks super pretty. I absolutely love the way this color came out. 
So I attempted to pluck this unit, but it was very challenging with the limitations of space. So now I'm going to go in with this straight silk spray um, before I blow dry the unit. And this is some really good spray. I received this spray from a company called Junior Lab some time ago. Um, it's infused with argan oil and it's perfect for when you want silky straight hair to use it as a heat protectant. So before I began flat ironing the hair, I went in with my Kiss Cream Foundation in the color Rich Mahogany just to tint the lace. Now because this is a blonde unit on a light cap and with light tracks, I also added some of this foundation um, just throughout the wig on some of those tracks and on the cap because of course you can see it's, it's very, very light and it does not look like root. So I wanted that to blend with my skin as well. So now I'm just gonna go through and begin flat ironing the hair just to get it as sleek as possible. Anytime that I flat iron hair, I like to use my Garnier Fructis Flat Iron Protector Straightening Mist. Because this is human hair, I do have my flat iron on the highest setting at 455 degrees. All right, so now let's get this baby installed. Now, whew, <laughs> I felt like I was struggling a little bit with this cap. This is a very small cap. And they put a ton of lace on here. And I was like, okay, you're about to mess up my eyebrows. So I had to cut some of that lace off before I even began. So lately I have been installing my wigs um, in this manner where I just cut off the middle portion of the lace first um, and then apply the bed head holding spray. I feel like this is just much more effective for me. Um, I've done with applying it on top of the lace and then cutting it off, but I feel like I have more control this way and I feel like I get a better melt when I cut the lace off first. And I pretty much did the same thing on the sides and now I'm just gonna tie it down with this elastic band. All right, so now I'm gonna use my Hair Fetish Knot and Lace Eraser Kit to apply to this lace. This lace was a whole struggle. And this is pretty much how everything came together. So then I wanted to see how this unit would look a little more curly. So of course I am adding some curls using my flat iron just to see how it's gonna come out. looking hairline like I like 
No, I didn't have any room to pluck. There was, you know, nowhere to pluck. <laughs> I only had a niche. It's not a lot of room. So I don't, I can't say that I'm a fan of that. I don't like that. I'd rather just have the old school standard 13 by 4, 13 by 6, 4 by 4, 5 by 5 closures, whatever the case may be. I know, you know, we've been on a shortage of lace and maybe that's why this has come about. Now this hair claims to have 150% density. I can't agree with that. This density is really light. I mean, really light. This is your typical 130 density. I don't know what 150 is. This is not 150. I'm going to give it to you raw and honest. I'm sponsored or not, I'm sorry. This is not 150. So the good out of the hair is that it's soft. There's no tangling. There's light shedding, but I'll blame myself for that because I did go in and tweeze the hairline. Um, you know, I kind of I chopped off the ends a little bit. Um, so I'll take the blame for the shedding, but there's no tangling. I mean, like the hair is really nice and, you know, manageable. You can get through it very easily. Very nice hair. Another thing I need to point out is this cap size. I always say I have a small to medium sized head measuring at 21 and a half inches. But this cap was a little tight now. I was a little worried when trying to get her glued down. I was like, okay, I need you. To, I was like pulling, pulling her to stay forward. Yeah, she's not the average size, like medium average size. She's like small to medium for sure. Big hair friends, don't even try it. <laughs> Just don't even, don't even bother. Now, this wig can be found on Amazon for a whopping $109.75. Pretty affordable for 20 inches of human hair. Basically a, a lace part wig with a lace front. <laughs> I mean, it's the same. And it's just human hair. That's the difference. You have a human hair lace part wig. That's what this is. Bam. So it may or may not be something you want to try out. Of course, I'll leave all of the information down in the description box below. Feel free. Check it out. But that's really all I got, y'all. That's all I got. As usual, I would love to know your thoughts on this unit. What do you think about this T-type lace part? area. <laughs> also, during the styling portion of this video, I included some footage of how this unit looks curly. So let me know which way you would prefer this unit. If you preferred her in a straight form or in a curly form, I'd love to know. Let's chat down in the comments below. Thanks again to IU Island for sponsoring this video and sending me this wig. I truly appreciate it. Please be sure to thumbs up this video, hit that subscribe button if you have not, and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.